Good morning, good timers. Thanks for being here today. It's the last day of my uh, permit season in the Sea Week. And we've had some birds. I mean, you guys have been with us. You know we've had some birds around us. been interesting um, I don't have pro staff uh, filmmaker so I'm gonna be making my own films for you it's just you and I as usual and that's great I have no problem with it I love it I do love pro staffers to keep me company he probably just sitting there waiting for us to just come over be patient old birds are patient And to help me wake up in the morning because let me tell you something when you got somebody else counting on you it makes a big difference don't you think and Scott thanks for coming out Johnny thanks for coming out I know it's very early and it's racking your systems and you'll need naps right around 12 o'clock I'm thinking it's, it's, right it's gonna be a long day We, yeah. There's three of us, so we can take turns napping this morning. Right. For sure. Take, take turns being on point. Yeah. When you got somebody else waiting at the end, you know, 415, they're up and ready. That's an obligation, and that really gets you out of bed quickly. So I hit the snooze twice today. Sure, I, that's okay. Um, I was great on time. I had to stop and get gas, which I did. And then I got a nice big 24 coffee. And then I realized I don't have my phone. So that's okay, it's okay. I turn around, wheel home real quick, go in the house, can't find my phone. So I call it, run around the house listening, and then I run out into my truck, and it's buried in the back with the camo that I just grabbed from the garage. Okay, okay so now I have my phone, and that's good too, because communication's always good. You never know what's gonna happen during the day while you're on a turkey hunt, so you need to have it, okay. So I'm driving down the road and I uh, have a nice big gulp of my coffee because now I'm starting to settle in and I'm on my way. And then as I put my coffee down, I spill half of the coffee onto my right leg. And it goes under uh, my cheek onto my right buttock and burns. Sure, it's, it's hot coffee, okay? You know, it doesn't get me down. It doesn't get me down. I'm soaking wet on my right side. Wet buttock and all, I'm going hunting and I'm gonna go and bring myself back a bird. For all my pro staffers that spent time with me out here this week. Pro staffer John Flanagan, pro staffer Scott Lippincott, this bird's for you boys. What you got there, pro staff? That young deer. Young deer, yeah. That's good luck too. Right? That's real good luck. It's like a wishbone that's already split. Right, that's right. Good time hunting. It's always a good time in the woods. It's always a good time turkey hunting. Good time hunting. Never come. Humidity is probably 20%. 
Carry this bird with my right hand. Okay, guys, this is my beautiful bird. Holy cow. What a monster. Look at that. My first mature Tom. Beautiful. Beautiful tail feathers. He's got a nice big beard on him. Wow. It's got to be. I don't know. You measure beards, I guess? 10 inch beard or something? Beautiful bird. What an exciting hunt, man. I had these turkeys gobbling all day long. And you know, if you're a turkey hunter, that's what you want. You want to hear that gobble because there's something that resonates into your soul when these big birds gobble. I don't know what it is, but they got that in their throat, man. That's cool, isn't it? My goodness, this is a big bird. Holy cow. I want to show you his wingspan. Most people show tails. I show beautiful, beautiful wingspan. Look at the bird. Beautiful bird. Thank you, God, for giving me this bird. Um, I thank you, bird, for giving me your life, for the nourishment you're going to give me, my friends, and my family. So thank you for doing that. Didn't have much choice, but I do thank you. Good times hunting where it's always a good time to quit. Good times hunting. That count. Thank you, bird. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Oh, yeah. Got some exercise, had some close calls. Yeah, with some ticks. Well, actually, the the, uh, the birds had the close calls. We yeah. didn't have any close calls whatsoever. 
Right. <laughs> we had some close well, calls with ticks. You don't you don't know how close your ticks calls are. Ticks and mosquitoes. So you get under your armpits this yep. afternoon. Yep. And you go to the shower. Yeah, that's going to be a... That'll be a close call. Yeah, that'll get be... Get them right before they bed in there. Right. You know. Time to find out where the tweezers are in the Lippincott house. 